Hi, it's Michael from Men's Finest. Question, what kind of bow tie should you wear when wearing a tuxedo? I had a question from Wukash. What kind of bow tie should you wear with a tuxedo? Let's go over that now. I would assume that the main debate is about whether you should wear something that it's already pre-tied or something that you tie yourself. And I don't know what the answer is. I know that many of you fashion enthusiasts are going to go, uh, let's only ever do a self-tie bow tie because that's the only real bow tie there is. But I'm not too sure why. But imagine this. You've got five minutes to go. You've just ordered an Uber. It's going to arrive here any time now. But you've realised that your shirt has got a stain or is in ironed. You quickly change the shirt or iron the shirt. You still haven't done your bow tie yet. You've got a minute to go. What kind of job do you think you're going to be doing with this? Probably not a good job, I would imagine. But I'm not so sure whether actually pre-tie bow tie is a better solution either. Because it screams a message that you are not skilled at being fashionable gentlemen, that you cannot tie a bow tie, which is a skill for life, and you should learn it. Um, it also screams a message that probably you're six years old and um, your mama used to do bows for you. I'm not so sure about them either. So what do we do now? Let me tell you what I really like about this pre-tie bow tie business. Well, you can have bow ties that have got different inserts, so inside the fabric could be different. You can barely see, but there is a little white ribbon going inside that uh, bow tie to make it special, to make it unique. You can actually mix and match colours. So, for instance, this kind of bow tie is a velvet bow tie uh, with some uh, navy and black. Uh, so you can actually very nicely match. And also, if you can closely see the... Um, navy is up front here and then the black is on the other side so basically it's kind of a shines through that um, black over navy so you can do that you can obviously have something with a bigger white ribbon or completely um, navy bow ties or some sort of blue with black bow ties and they all pre-tie bow ties so how about this self-tie bow tie business well I like it as well. It's wonky, it's not even, it's not supposed to be even. And when I see someone at the event wearing one of those, well, you can easily spot them because A, they are fully proud and confident that they did one of those, uh, but also you can see it's wonky. So you can see it's actually been done by themselves. To me, that's extra points for being fashionable and forward thinking. A pre-tie bow tie has been created so you can just clip it on, be ready in seconds um, and look the part. You know, there is nothing wrong with that look. The self-tie bow tie, however, the self-tie bow tie, however, serves completely different purpose. You think this is the same as a pre-tie bow tie, but it has got something absolutely unique to it. It's not about material. It's uh, not about the wonky look. There is something else. What? That thing? Yeah, you do that at the end of the night. So you show all the pre-tie guys that you actually tie your bow tie yourself. This is the only reason why you would ever wear a self-tie. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, share, and I see you soon.